This is a review and an install of the Turatec Rallyform skid plate for the Yamaha Tenere 700. I chose this uh, skill plate from all the ones on the market because I like just the pure form of it. It's just a big piece of 4mm aluminum sheet that's just pressed into shape by sheer force. Also the raw aluminum, it talks to in quotation marks to the top case and side cases. And in hindsight I should have bought the GV Dolomiti cases because those cases are a little bit more rounded in the forms instead of the edgy ones that I ended up with. Yeah, I guess I'm a little <laughs> bit picky. <laughs> but I like the different parts of the bike to, in quotation marks again, talk to each other. The same reason why I have a helmet that matches the colors on the bike. I guess that's part of having a motorbike. Let the internal wackiness be set free. This is a review of the Toratec Rallyform skid plate and it's 4mm aluminum that's all just forged out of one big sheet of aluminum. It's not welded like the 20 other <laughs> ones I looked at. Um, and it's the original skid plate is 2mm aluminum and it's kind of made the same way, it's just forged out of one sheet of aluminum, no welds at all. And this is 2.6 kilograms plus almost uh, 0.4 kilograms for the fastening set. So it's like 3 kilograms. Uh, so it's fastened with 6 bolts and has 2 special little brackets made out of stainless steel. So that's these little brackets out of stainless steel that are fastened on the side. So we'll see how the install goes. Removing the existing skid plate is fairly straightforward. There are four little bolts. They're all six millimeter bolts and you use an eight millimeter socket to remove it. And the best is just to loosen them all first before you start unscrewing it. Here you can see the difference between the two skid plates. The existing skid plate is 760 grams, including the four fasteners and the washers. And so that's three quarter of a kilogram. And the new skid plate from Turatec, the rally form, is three kilograms more or less exactly on the dot, including the brackets and the fasteners. At least the extra added weight, 240 kilograms, is added in the center of it, bike and low. The first part to install are the two brackets. Per usual turret hex standards, the instructions somewhere in between a puzzle and a joke. <laughs> And that's probably why you have to download them, that they're not included. So the first part after removing the original skid plate is to remove these two little bolts on each side for the down rails. And then to mount these little stainless steel brackets. And because I don't have the... I only have the upper turret tank bars, I don't have the, the lower turret tank bars. I need to install these little spacers. So it goes on like that. And I've already loosened these. These are eight, eight millimeter bolts and you use a 12 millimeter. And Turatec provided new bolts and washers for these eight millimeters. They provided stainless. But per usual, the, these, are fat, these have a thread locker on them originally, and I'm going to put thread locker on it again. And uh, the 
The so-called missing manual does not mention anything about Threadlocker, but that's a, like a no-brainer. And on these little brackets, Curatector used these little cage nuts. And the advantage of little cage nut is that then they're a little bit adjustable. I like better the nuts that are welded on the little captive while they're not like these original ones. I think that's a better deal. And with the thread locker, you're supposed to shake it before you install or use it. And this is also adjustable. And this is fastened with a 13 millimeter socket. And leave everything a little bit loose. Don't tighten everything up. The two included bolts on the left hand side of the bike. If you have the original side stands, these are too short and you can't use them. Uh, the bolts that came with the side stands they are 75 millimeters long, but you really need some bolts that are 80 millimeters long. Um, you can use them for, I guess, time being, but you should change them to 80 millimeter bolts, so I will order some new ones. It would have been nice if Turatec included a set of 80 millimeter long bolts, but... If you have the original center stand, you need to dry fit everything, then tighten up the long 8 millimeter bolts, and then take off the skid plate in order to tighten up the nuts on the back side of the 75 millimeter long bolts on the left hand side of the bike. And then you can fit the skid plate again. So that you mount the brackets on both sides. It's just used the included T30 stainless steel screws to bolt the skid plate on. In order to avoid scuffing up the new skid plate, you need to add stainless steel washers to each of the new six millimeter bolts. These washers are not included in the set. And I'm using a thread locker on all the bolts. And these are T30 and that, that's a good thing because you have T30s plenty of places on the bolts. And it's a good thing that the bolts, they are rounded, so there's less of a chance that they're catching on anything. There's a pretty big difference between the torque numbers in the Turatec installation manual and on the Yamaha service manual. So I'm including both of the numbers for your reference. I used 15 pound feet of torque on the 8 millimeter bolts. That's the number that the Yamaha uses on several 8 millimeter bolts on the bike. As always, with the click type torque wrench, stop after the first click. So, what's my conclusion on this skid plate? Uh, I really like it and this one it fits pretty good. I don't have to modify anything Like on the upper crash bar where I'm gonna to have to cut off the secondary pipe and re-weld it on and put it at the correct angle um, My only concern about this skid plate is that it might contain a little bit too much heat from the exhaust pipe So I might end up uh, drilling a whole bunch of small house holes down in the front here to get a little bit of ventilation I'm going to monitor the engine temperature and see what it, how it does and if the fan spins on all the time more than it did before. If this skid plate it contains too much of the heat from the engine because there's less ventilation than before, 
I'll probably just draw a pattern in, on the computer, print it out, and glue it onto the front of the skid plate, and just drill a whole bunch of tiny holes there. But we'll see. I did a similar perforated pattern a couple of years ago on the hiking stove windshield and I drew it up in AutoCAD, scaled it up and down a little bit, fit perfectly, printed it out, glued it on to the surface, then used a little punch for all the center marks and then I drilled a whole bunch of little bitty holes. So I will do a similar thing on this face of this uh, skid plate. Turatech makes a lot of amazing products, but they have a big problem, and that is the good enough attitude in every step of their organization. From uh, how they weld stuff together, to their lack of good fasteners, to the missing or not very good instruction manuals, to their totally lacking customer support. So I hope they get their stuff together. Thanks for watching, have a good ride, please subscribe, more videos to follow.